Hello Aquarius. Welcome to the channel. This is Snoicha here. For those of you who are returning, thank you so much for liking, sharing, and subscribing to the channel. Thank you so much for your love, support, and encouragement. And for those of you who are new, welcome. So I'm going to be doing a love reading and looking into the feelings and emotions of the person you are wanting to connect with on a romantic level or the person you're already connecting with romantically. What it is that they are feeling and thinking towards you. And this reading is meant from 16th of November to the 30th, 2020. But do keep in mind, this is a general reading as well as the... Sorry, I just got caught off guard. Um, it is a general reading and time is fluid. So for some of you, you may have already gone through this in the past. Um, and for some of you might be going through this right now, in fact. And for the rest of you, maybe in the far future. The deck that I am using is the Goddess Oracle deck. Okay. So we have here pleasure. No. There you go. Selfhood. Then we have illusion. Then we have opening. Nourishment. Followed by cycles. Crossroads. Ecstasy. And under the bottom of the deck, we have here wisdom. Okay. So Aquarius, I'm going to express to you what it is that this person is feeling towards you currently. My dear Aquarius, there is so much pleasure that I have experienced with you emotionally and physically. Just thinking about you gives me pleasure. The connection that you and I have, the talks, the things that we have talked about, it's all very pleasurable to me. It makes me very happy. And there is a part of me now that realizes that you have changed in a way. I find that you are quite defensive. But I myself am feeling as though I need to put some guards up. I am being a little defensive as well. I don't want to let someone into my heart, even if I have experienced unimaginable pleasure. I have this energy that is very single, and I feel the same type of energy that you have. 
that it's also single. There are certain things that I want to tell you. Firstly, that you make me feel out of this world. But I keep that to myself. I don't reveal that. I don't talk about it. I don't want anyone to know how I truly feel. But keeping all this bottled up inside, it's too much for me to handle now. And I do feel that it's time for me to open up. To open up and bring to light that which is in the darkness, in the depths of my heart, how I feel about you. You have this way of fulfilling my every need, my every desire. With you, I feel emotional, spiritual, and physical fulfillment. And it's so overwhelming that this feeling is so perfect that I can't stop thinking about, about you, about this connection. And it shocks me to the point that I have now actually come to this decision on whether I should be in this connection with you or maybe I shouldn't. But why I have a lot of respect for you is because never has anybody made me feel this blissful spiritually as you have, Aquarius. There is something about you, your soul, your spirit. When I look into your eyes, there's something about you that just makes me absolutely content and happy and satisfied just knowing that you're there just knowing that you exist I have been through a lot and experienced a lot in this connection as well as other connections from my past and I am now much more wiser than what I was before there's lessons that I have learned and I know that there's certain things I shouldn't repeat. All I can say is that I'm not the same person that I used to be. I want to make a decision because I can't stop thinking about you. You are that perfect person. So much nourishment I get. I'm tired of hiding and I want to open up to you. All right, Aquarius. I see here. This is either for some of you. I'm seeing two storylines here. For some of you, this is right in the beginning of a connection, or this is right at the end of a connection. These are not cards that I usually get that are in between. In the end, meaning you've already gone through the pain, the heartache, and now this person's realizing that they have to make a decision. Or, if your story is that you have just started engaging with this person, knowing this person, this person's been hiding certain feelings and emotions and they're going to make that decision to make that change. Either way, this person is wanting to open up to you, Aquarius, because before they were quite secretive. Not really expressing themselves to you, maybe even keeping quiet, ghosting you. But now they're wiser. All right, guys. 
I have here the hmm the beginner's tarot. And I'm going to look into any intentions, actions, plans that this person may have coming towards you. Wow. Two major arcanas here. And then we do have the Six of Wands, yes. So if this person had ghosted you, if they at one point did ignore you, do keep in mind, whoever has left will eventually come back. Am I not seeing this right? Sorry. <laughs> there, I think that's better. Okay. Aquarius. So... It's all over, okay, not all over. Overall, it's good. It does seem to me that this connection is going to work out. However, this person feels as if they have to work really hard. Eight of Pentacles. They really have to work hard towards this connection for making themselves a better and renewed person because they're coming back into your life. They don't want to be the same type of person with the same type of baggage and issues. They just want to start fresh. Everything has to be brand new. The affections are still there, but the mannerisms, certain things that they used to do, they're going to try to change those habits. Let's just put it that way. The star card is here and the wheel of fortune. Someday, some way, we will meet again. This is how this person feels. They do feel a spiritual connection with you. They definitely do. They find you as somebody who's very attractive, somebody who is admired by many. And the admiration here is not just on a small level. They know that there's competition. They know that you have other people that actually admire you as well. And they want to be the person that is that special one for you. Right after that, you do have the Five of Pentacles and they're realizing this and they feel as though you have rejected them. They do feel left out in the cold. They even feel a lack of funds in their life, money-wise. They feel as if they might not be able to provide and maybe even take you out for dinner or something, um, take you out on a vacation. Um, they're just not feeling that this can happen. And, you know, no SHIT, right? Like these days, <laughs> you can't go anywhere much. Um, stay indoors, everyone. <laughs> There's this feeling, let's just say if this person could take you out, okay? If the world was a safer place. Um, they really are still struggling with finances. There's something going on and they just don't feel um, good enough. Yes, f worthy, worthy. They're not feeling as worthy uh, enough for you right now. And what they're doing is they're working on it. Yes, that's what's happening. The next card here is the Wheel of Fortune. So they do feel as though they missed out on the opportunity when you were around. But don't worry. The Wheel of Fortune, it's a wheel. It's going to come around again. This opportunity is going to come around. And they are going to be coming back into your life. Victorious. They're going to want to win your heart. Aquarius. So be ready. <laughs> It's very nice. Do keep in mind, this person's going to have some self-esteem, self-worth type of issues. Um, but by the time they come back, they will be a renewed person. Remember before we had the wisdom? So the wisdom card, right? So this person is um, changing for the better. All right, we 
to give the lover's path tarot now i'm going to have a look okay there you are in fact okay so i'm looking at what obstacles exist that's causing any type of issue in this connection right now what kind of blockage is there so we have here the two of staves and then we have the illusions card two of staves so the two of staves here and I'll be reading the negative aspects it does talk about hmm for example, this person started off really strong with you and the connection, but then suddenly it started to lose momentum. It was not, it started off very fast and promising, but then it kind of ended and faded away just, just like that. There was no reason for things to finish and it kept you in the dark as to what happened. In actual fact, this person was just not ready to start something like this at that time. There was also frustration that this person had and they were impatient. They wanted to begin new ventures and even partnerships. So yes, you know what, this person, this is probably the third card that I'm I'm reflecting more on this person's um, finances. There's something going on here where there's a lack of self-worth, a lack of not being good enough. Um, and you know, like, of course we should all have enough to take care of one another, but this person's taking it a little a step further. Um, they really don't feel that they're worthy of you, Aquarius. And this is, kind of due to finances for some strange reason finances or materialistic it could be that they're living with their parents which is not a problem at all um i mean i'm east indian so <laughs> that theory goes out the window <laughs> um this person feels as if if you both were to be together they want to take care of you Right now, Aquarius, they feel that they can't take care of you the way that you deserve. They've put you up on a pedestal, and that's fine. They just want to treat you in life, and they do feel as though right now they cannot. All right, under the bottom of the deck, we have Illusion. This card is kind of a tough one. Um, it does talk about this person originally being enchanted by love, for better or for worse. They were confused by illusions, things that may not be or be real. There was intense emotions. There was a need to know what's real. Okay, so what's going on here is, Aquarius, this person was with you in this connection and they did not recognize if this was love or if this was lust or if this was simply infatuation they just did not know the difference between these things you did and at that time this person did not so what's going on here is now this person delusion is he or she is delusional there's a sense of deception discomfort mm, with their emotions regarding the relationship yeah, they're not comfortable with their own emotions because they can't invest their emotions in you if they don't know what kind of emotions they have for you. They're feeling uncomfortable with the relationship itself because they don't know who they are. Again, right? Like the self-worth type of issue that they're having. And there's a lack of satisfaction because they don't feel that this is as true as they could possibly be. There's a sense of living in fantasy land um, and not being able to use their intuition. So Aquarius, it does seem emotionally immature, immature by in the sense that this person did not have a lot of experience in terms of love and romance and true love. They did not have that experience. 
and they made a lot of mistakes. And I believe still, nobody has to be financially stable just to send a text message or an email. Like, you know, you know, I, I totally agree with everyone right now. <laughs> um, yeah, just send a message, anything. Let me know you're alive. Yeah, I know the feeling. Um, what's happening here is this person is trying to work on it, right? They're trying to make themselves better. So they're healing. Let them, let them do it organically. There's a method to their madness. And if you don't want to wait, Aquarius, you don't have to wait. You can move on. But, as the angels are saying, remain positive. Okay, I'm just going to do a quick prayer on my cards here. All right. Remain positive. So, this is Doreen Virtue deck. Um, these are angel answer cards. All right. So, we have here remain positive, And then we have forgiveness. If you believe, unlikely, within the next few weeks hmm improving health this always concerns me and this usually comes out Aquarius when the angels are concerned about your body not the right time under the bottom of the deck okay Give me a few seconds to compose this message because there's a few different points here. All right, okay. So Aquarius, this, this message is brought to you by Archangel Michael, Raphael, and Gabriel. Um, so what the angels are saying here First of all, you may have been quite upset about this entire situation. They want you to remain positive. So you have to remain positive in order for you to receive positive energy. Improving health. They see that your health has depleted in a way. Um, this could have been because of this could have been because of stress, anxiety, depression in relation to heartache and this has caused certain parts of your body to be ill energetically it's it's starting to affect your body starting to manifest from those energy centers um, for this you guys can go to my website and I do have two things you can either look into um, holy light package which is to remove negative energies but if you want to get into something further in depth where I look at your chakras, um, I know it's going to sound funny, but it's called Chakra Checkup. So I can actually look at your chakras from where I am and I'll let you know which ones need healing and then we'll work on it together to heal it. Just go to my website and I'll also have the link below, rates and packages. And you can have a look at the variety of packages that I have. Just read through it and whichever one's applicable to you, you can reach out to me. Um, through that. All right, I just wanted to let you guys know because these two are very important. Now, the next message here is the angels are telling you, Aquarius, if you wanted to reach out to this person, do not reach out. Right now is not the right time to reach out to this person because unlikely it's going to turn out the way you want it to. Now, we've seen this person still evolving. They're still learning. They're still in a workshop, Eight of Pentacles, working away, trying to learn things. Um, trying to make their life better so that they can come back to you. 
So we need to understand where this person's coming from and they are going to want forgiveness. They're going to apologize to you. You may realize this. If you believe, then yes, this is going to happen, first of all. If you believe that this is going to happen, you will be working towards it. Health improvements will occur in the near future, so don't worry about that. That stuff gets fixed. Now, we have here, within the next few weeks, this could also mean months. Whatever you got going on here, Aquarius, things are going to be better. You just have to wait, and if you feel like you have negative energies, you can go to my website, look at the packages, which one you want, um, inquire about it if you, if you need to, and um, I can help you guys with that situation as well. What I help with currently, I just want to get rid of negative energies. That's what I do. Um, simply because anything good that's supposed to come into your life, you cannot manifest something good when you have blockages, right? So what I help do is remove those blockages so that the path for anything good that's to come to you is clear. That's the way remaining positive and manifestation actually works. You can't just manifest something when you have blockages in the way. All right, guys, I hope I was able to help you clarify and provide you some guidance as much as I could. Let me know in the comments below. I do wish you all the very best. I know it's going to sound bad, but do keep patient. Be patient because this person you're dealing with, they're going through a transition. They're transforming. So let this caterpillar turn into a butterfly and eventually they're going to flap their wings and come towards you. <laughs> All right, Aquarius, you guys take care. Stay safe. I will see you next month. Bye now.